Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And if you haven't known, or if you guys don't know, today is our one year anniversary of our YouTube channel. And I am extremely excited about this. Probably a lot more excited than I probably am showing. Today, we are going to be talking about, because of our one year anniversary, we're going to, I am going to, what, we are what? I am going to be talking about the Killer Bells um, in Orlando, SeaWorld Orlando. Because I feel like one of our main goals of this channel was to educate you guys about the whales that we love and the whales that you guys also love. So, we are going, I, I am going to educate you guys about the whales. Um, Chilla Gum has passed away. And he passed away on the 7th of January. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Short term memory. But anyway, now there is only six whales now reciting at SeaWorld Orlando. So I found as much information as I possibly could about the six whales that still remain there. And I'm going to talk about them today. So, so currently, the whales at SeaWorld Orlando are. Katina, Kayla, Truro, Makayo, Nalani, and Malia. Those are the six whales currently living in Sierra Orlando's care. Before there used to be seven, and now there are six because of Tilly's. When he left, that's all I'm gonna say. A little information about each of the whales. First whale I'm gonna talk about is Katina. Katina is the matriarch, so she's like the mama. Like she's like the boss over at SeaWorld Orlando. Just like, she is the boss. She is 39 and she was not born at SeaWorld. She was actually captured near Iceland when she was around three. When Katina was bought by SeaWorld, um, she was originally placed at SeaWorld San Diego. Switch down of shows between SeaWorld Ohio and SeaWorld San Diego. It's kind of hard to explain, but she kind of moved back and forth between SeaWorld San Diego and SeaWorld Ohio. But then, finally, in 1984, she came to SeaWorld Orlando and she is happily with us today in SeaWorld Orlando. Also at SeaWorld Orlando when she was moved there, um, she was pregnant and I don't know if she was pregnant on her way to SeaWorld Orlando or she was pregnant when she got to SeaWorld Orlando, I'm not sure, but she gave birth to a whale named Kalina and Kalina was the first baby Shamu and um, was the first killer whale to thrive in human care. The next one we're going to talk about is Kayla. Kayla is 28. The two parks Kayla has gone to, obviously, is SeaWorld San Antonio and SeaWorld Orlando. So at one point, Kayla was the matriarch of the SeaWorld San Antonio pod, and because of confrontation between two other males that were there, it was Kayukit and Keat, um, they kept on fighting over her, so then they moved her over to SeaWorld Orlando where she could hap happily hap hap English is hard. Um, they moved her over to SeaWorld Orlando because confrontation. Next one we're going to talk about is Trua. Trua is 11 years old and he was born at SeaWorld Orlando. November 23rd, 2005. He's so cute. His parents were Takara and Taku. He actually was in the middle of learning waterworks until the whole incident happened in 2010 whenever they had to get rid of waterworks. Next one we're going to talk about is Makayo. Uh, Makayo is 5. Katina's 7th calf. October 9th, 2010. His parents are Tilikum and Katina. His name was chosen by a poll on Facebook, and his name means um, gift of God in a Hawaiian form of the name Matthew. So his name, like, translates to Matthew, and Matthew means gift of God. The next one we're going to talk about is Nalani. Nalani is 10, and she was born on September 18th, 2006. Her parents are Katina and Taku. She was Katina's sixth calf, and Taku's second. The last one we're going to talk about is Malia. Malia is the second youngest at SeaWorld Orlando, and she is nine. Um, she was born at SeaWorld Orlando on March 12th, 2007. Um, her parents are Team Antilicum, and she was Taima's third calf, um, and her name means calm and peaceful in Hawaiian. I hope you guys like this video. I know it's kind of short. It's not something we usually do. This is like something that we really never do, but I felt like because it was a, it's our one year anniversary on YouTube, I felt like we needed to do somehow, some way, um, put together a little video for you guys to educate you guys about the SeaWorld Orlando pod. If you guys want me to do a video about the SeaWorld, San, SeaWorld San Antonio or SeaWorld San Diego pods, just comment down below. If there are any other video requests or video suggestions, I'll put it down below in the comment section. Give it a like, subscribe. Yeah. Oh, and if we meet 100 subscribers, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to do something crazy. And the best part about it is that you guys get to vote. So, get us to 100 subscribers. We can do it. I believe in us. We can do it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.